Hi there. In this video, I'm showing you how you can create AI-enabled e-learning using Arthur Learning's AI Ready. Let's get started. We will be following the AI Ready user guide that comes along with your subscription. The guide has detailed information on how to use AI Ready. We are going to follow the getting started part. So for that, let's first open up Storyline 360. Now again, we are doing it in Storyline 360, but this can be done in any other authoring tool that is able to call JavaScript. Opening a new slide. Now what we are building is extremely simple. We're creating just a place for user to ask any question and for AI to respond to that question. So first thing, we need a place for the user to ask a question. So we have to create a data entry. There we go. Okay, so this is where our user will ask their question. So let's just say. Now, when this goes to AI, we get the answer back in a variable. So we need to create that variable to hold that answer. This is going to be a text variable. And let's put a placeholder value. Let's display this. It will display GPT response here. There we go. So this is still preparation. The learner asks question here, the AI responds here. We have to send this question to AI and gets its response. For that, you want to create a submit button. Now when user clicks the submit button, we'll start a trigger. So create a new trigger here. And we choose execute JavaScript from down here. There it is. Now this JavaScript is exactly the same as provided in your AI ready guide right here. So I would suggest paste it in a code editor that also allows you to see it nicely. For sake of simplicity, I'm going to post paste it on in Microsoft Word. So now you can see the code nicely. Okay. Let's quickly go through this. What this code is doing, it's taking your text entry variable, that is your learner's question, passing it on as user prompt. Then it's creating AI prompt. And this is what actually goes to the AI. So this is where you can do some proper engineering, give your context and instructions to the AI. And all of this is basically sending the message to GPT API. You don't need to do anything here. When the answer comes back, it comes back as GPT underscore response here. Okay, let's copy this and go back to Storyline. Perfect. So this is our JavaScript code and we are all set. This should work. To test it, you cannot preview it. You have to publish it. I'm going to publish it to web. This is not pretty at all, but that's what, not what we are showing today. Let's see. Now, when I click submit, this should send this question to AI and bring back the answer to show it here. And there you go. Now, one quick improvement we can do over this is we can put the response in a separate layer so it doesn't show up until somebody clicks submit. Let's do that very quickly. And we take all this and we take this and put it in our layer. And here, when somebody clicks submit, that is when we show the layer. Make sure it comes after the JavaScript because Storyline executes the triggers in sequence. One more time, let's test it out. So this is much better. Let's ask a different question. Much better, isn't it? Now you can have your Learners ask any question within an e-learning module. There can be so many applications for this. I've shown you the simplest use case. What use cases can you think of?